Ta, my name is Ben, and I'm here to talk to you about my findings about coral reef ecosystems in the Great Barrier Reef. Firstly, I'd like to talk about the significance of the ecosystem. In terms of biodiversity, coral reefs are some of the most significant habitats in the world. These ecosystems are home to up to 4,000 different species of fish, 800 different species of coral, and hundreds of other organisms, such as crustaceans and mollusks. The sheer scale of life supported by these ecosystems has led to coral reefs being classified as the most diverse marine habitat on Earth. In addition to the massive ecological benefits, coral reefs also contribute up to $375 billion to the global economy and support a range of social benefits, such as recreation. Despite the significance of these ecosystems, they are currently under threat from the effects of climate change, and in particular, increasing sea surface temperature and dissolved carbon dioxide levels. Both of these two factors have previously been closely linked to the degradation of coral reefs. Therefore, I predicted that they would have similar negative effects on the Great Barrier Reef region. Before about beginning my experiment, I had two primary goals. Firstly, to understand how increasing sea surface temperature and dissolved carbon dioxide levels affect the species richness of coral. And secondly, to identify which species of coral were resilient to these changes. The experiment was conducted at three different sites of variant degradation in the Capricorn Island region, just off the coast of Queensland, which you can see in the slide. Randomly selected transects were marked out on the reef, and species were identified using high-definition photographs. Additionally, sea surface temperature and dissolved CO2 were recorded at each transect. The findings of the experiment can be seen on the two graphs on the slide. The graphs clearly show that both increased dissolved carbon dioxide and sea surface temperature have negative effects on coral diversity at all sites. But increased sea surface temperature proves to be more detrimental to coral reef diversity than carbon dioxide does. These results therefore reinforce the hypothesis as these two factors of climate change are proving to be harmful to our coral reefs. However, the most promising outcome of this project was the identification of three different coral species. These coral species resist the effects of climate change. Further research into these species will identify the genes and characteristics that make them resilient. This could potentially lead to the creation of super coral, which could be used in future restoration efforts throughout the Great Barrier Reef. In conclusion, although increasing sea surface temperature and dissolved carbon dioxide is having negative effects on coral reefs in the Great Barrier Reef region, there does seem to be a glimmer of hope with the discovery of these resilient species that may hold the key to the reef survival. Thank you very much.